Scott and Gigi once again with the tourist trap. Hi everybody. And we are going to highlight Germany at Epcot today. Yeah, so excited. Another trip uh, around World Showcase, but today just uh, just Germany. Yes. Lots of things to see here in Germany. Yes. Uh, especially the caramel corn and the caramel. I can't wait. We love food, so you know this is right up our, your alley and my Definitely. alley. Definitely. So uh, Germany, very fun pavilion. Uh, also a, a popular TV series on ABC shot right here at this uh, front of this one pub I want to mention. And uh, that's coming at you right now. We got some German uh, cast members out here playing a little soccer with some of the guests here in the pavilion of Germany. They've got a little kickball going on and uh, who will win? I don't know. Will it be the cast? Will it be the guest? I'm not sure. Uh-oh. This right here is one of the places you can get that famous beer here in Germany and they are lined up and uh, this here little stand right here was featured in the Roseanne episode on ABC years ago, uh, Roseanne and John Goodman came right up to this stand and walked away in the scene. Uh, that's one of the scenes I remember in that episode was done right here in Germany, here at this walk up beer stand. And we are getting ready to go into the Germany bakery. And yes, they have a bakery here and it's Werther's original. And you can just smell that Werther's caramel as soon as you walk in the door. They have all kinds of caramel over here on the walls. Gigi's going to find her some bagged Werther's. Oh my gosh, Where have so you ever good. seen bagged Werther's before, Gigi? It's Never. It's so good. I yeah. know. I yeah. know. They so also good. make it fresh over there, too. We're going to look at that in a minute. What is Banana. it? Now, those are good. These are good. Merci. Merci's are good. Those are real good, the Merci. They have every different flavor of Werther's uh, caramel in the popcorn, the caramel popcorn and the signature caramel flavors and uh, not too many places that I have seen that have the bagged caramel popcorn with the Werther's caramel but you can get it right here in Epcot at the Germany Pavilion and they do have a full bakery here at the Germany Pavilion mostly lots of caramel here and they do have the popcorn the caramel popcorn that they make fresh right back here that you can get bagged up um, I did try that. It does have a lot more caramel on it, the fresh, as opposed as the pre-packaged. And they also have the salted caramel fudge brownie here as well, and a caramel chocolate pineapple. That's a pineapple dipped in chocolate with caramel. That looks pretty good. And then even going down here, they got more caramel, Werther's caramels on, on candied apples and Rice Krispie treats and the old milk chocolate caramel clusters here. And here they got a marshmallow cream. That looks pretty good. Cream caramel and just flat out plain caramel. And here is the caramel popcorn that they make here in the shop, fresh. And uh, I think Gigi might be going to get some of this. And back here in the back they have some marshmallows dipped in chocolate on a stick. Those look pretty good back here too on these big trays. And they're dipping them right now and making them fresh. Mmm, everything smells so good in this shop. And the Werther's original signature caramel popcorn here pre-packaged in uh, Germany Pavilion is uh, probably one of the only spots you're going to be able to find the caramel popcorn with the Werther's caramel on it. And right next door in the next room from the caramel bakery here in Germany is a Christmas shop. And Disney does love Christmas and they do have a big section here set up with uh, Christmas in the Germany Pavilion. Taste some Scott, it's so good, oh my God. Melts in your mouth. Melts in your mouth? Mm. Not in your hand? Mm -mm. Oh, it looks good, doesn't it? Absolutely. Can you smell it, guys? Everybody watching, you, can you smell that? I can smell it, I want to turn it to Smells like it Werther's over. Original, doesn't it? Yes, delicious. This tree right here, it's definitely the deal. It uh, is a pickle tree and uh, all kinds of pickles. We see pickles everywhere we go, along them with uh, bacon. So, um, there's a story 
Germany. In Germany, it's a tradition, the pickle tradition. You hide the Christmas pickle in the tree, and your children get to look for it, and the child who finds it first gets a special present. <laughs> a pickle? A jar of pickles? No, <laughs> it's actually a special present, not only pickles. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, it could be pickles if the child likes pickles, I guess. <laughs> Sounds like a good deal to me. Right? Okay. <laughs> actually, the pickle tradition is made up. It's made up by Americans, and it's not typical German. I'm sorry. <laughs> So, <laughs> oh my God! And get fact, the egg tag. Jonas told us that. Jonas told us that. <laughs> fact or fiction? You decide. <laughs> um, fiction. Now, Gigi. Now, here is here's a mug. It looks like it's got beer already in it, and I think. I found Trevor's drink. Let's go get Trevor. Or theme park brews. That's right. Yeah. That's is that cool. just? Is that like that all the time? Is that inserted in there? I guess. I think so. And so it looks like you've got a full beverage even if you don't. Yeah. Nice. You can pull the cops with this. If you get too drunk, you might think you still have a drink. I know. <laughs> now, now, Gigi, this is a new twist on, on beer steins right here. As you can see, it's got a pretzel for the, for the handle. So that's definitely a, a new twist here in Germany for a, for a beer stein. Gigi is going to see if she can't go try and see if she can see the beer garden buffet. Have you ever ate here, Gigi? This is absolutely fabulous. I've ate here twice, and they do have a lot of really good food. And they have a show that goes on in here on the stage of the beer garden. As you can see, it is going on right now, and they have a little entertainment. And they don't look very busy in here, but it is a reservation-only type place. But it is an all-you-can-eat, and it's an absolutely fabulous atmosphere to come in here and enjoy a German buffet. And as you can see, it's a very large buffet back here and it is an all you can eat. And I have had this before and it is absolutely fabulous, this here. Uh, they do the hand carved meats and stuff back here and they also have the spatzel here and they have the red cabbage and they also have a German potato salad. And it does look like they have some very good looking meatballs here too and some uh, pork schnitzel. I can't pronounce some of this. There's a salmon and there's some green beans and roasted chicken and uh, you got your seasoned potatoes over here and they got your German sausages with sauerkraut and uh, absolutely wonderful food here at the beer garden here at Germany Pavilion in Epcot. Definitely make a reservation and try this out. And as you can see up there on the stage they have the band playing with a little dinner music or lunch music right here at the beer garden in Germany. Definitely a great place to eat here at Epcot. And uh, we are back outside. There's a big old fountain here with a statue of a guy on a horse. And, we're, and uh, Gigi and Renata, they're both eating the popcorn still. So good. The Werther's original popcorn made fresh. So we're going to go over here and see about, I think they have wines and stuff in this shop, Gigi, and some candy. Now, I, I think I've heard of this brand, the Playmobil. Uh, that's been years ago, Gigi. But this looks like a German, looks like little German dolls here in these Playmobils. That's pretty cool. Now, what are we talking about, Gigi? You're talking about the cuckoo clock? Yeah, is that another tradition or is that another myth? These, uh, there's some cuckoo clocks here. Uh, German, I guess they're German cuckoo clocks. I don't know if there's a myth about that or some kind of story. Maybe somebody could tell us, I'm not sure. Over here, Gigi, is more candies, and you know those Kinder candies, those are hard to find right there from Germany, the Kinder. Looks good. And then you got the, the regular Toblerone, Toblerone and uh, what's that called? Top, Topkus. And those are, looks like chocolate dipped marshmallows, possibly, but they do have a lot of stuff here. That's mustard, Gigi. Is that mustard? Is that mustard? No, no, no. I can't read it. I think it's mustard. Uh, yeah, it's mustard. Yeah, Bavarian mustard. They have all kinds. That looks like that's in a beer barrel. I bet you that's beer-flavored mustard, maybe. Now, here we go. They have some large cuckoo clocks here, Gigi. These are some pretty large... That's 1600 Oh, I go cuckoo on the price on that, too. Yes. God. <laughs> you going cuckoo on the price? I wouldn't buy that. And after touring the whole country of Germany... They're still getting their kicks out here with this ball. And I missed it. I missed it. I missed it. Yeah, well, you can try again. So how long have you all been out here? How long have you been out here uh, getting your... 
uh, playing uh, kickball. Oh well, how long are you here? We're having fun. So, until Nikki needs us again. Yeah. So, until. <laughs> so long we have fun playing soccer with all of you. Awesome, awesome. Well, Gigi, another great pavilion here at Epcot. Oh my God, we have so much fun. So much fun. We've, we've talked to so many cast members, friendly cast members in Germany. Absolutely. Extremely friendly. Extremely, extremely friendly. Uh, uh, the other video we did in Japan, they were friendly there too. Yes, they were. So uh, you can't go wrong in the, uh, some of these countries. Um, uh, some of them are trying to get in the act here back here. They, I think they, so. They've talked to us here. They're playing kickball. Yes. They were playing it when we got here. They're still playing it. Yes, they are. And, and fun. <laughs> so uh, we're going to uh, get on out of here. Uh, definitely check out the Carmel place here, the Carmel Bakery. Yes, for sure. Get yourself a bag. Get yourself a bag at Werther's Carmel Popcorn here in Germany. It is really good. Uh, and some really good shops in Germany as well. Yes, very good. I very good. Lots of beer too. Yeah, a lot of beer. One day we'll go drinking around the world. We might do that with Theme Park Brews. Yeah, that would be awesome. It'd be fun. So remember, go out there and make it a great day because... You deserve it, baby.